All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use borax in order to remove impurities from your silver or gold. Uh, here you can see this sludge on here. When I move that, you can see the sludge or impurities versus kind of that pure silver. Um, so we are going to use some borax to remove all of that sludge. All right, so this is just another look now that the silver has been pretty much completely melted at this point. Again, when I kind of move this around, you can see where the impurities and sludge um, or that layer breaks away from the more pure silver. Here we have our borax. We're just going to take a very small pinch of this and sprinkle it onto your silver. And you can see that instantly it is removing that layer of impurities, that layer of sludge from the top of your silver. And here now you can see that it's almost completely gone at this point. Uh, you can see a little bit of that borax, kind of melted bor borax floating around on the top of the silver. All right, let's take another look at it with kind of some slow motion so you can see exactly how much of that is being sprinkled on there. And as you can see, it's very light sprinkles of that borax, very easily removing those impurities from the top layer of your silver. So as you can see, it works very well. Um, let's take, just for the fun of it, one more look at it here from kind of a zoomed in approach. Uh, again, you can just see how well that borax is removing those impurities and that kind of sludge layer from the top part of the silver there. You'll find that pretty much all the borax that you sprinkle on along with that uh, layer of in impurities will virtually completely all burn off from the silver. As we take kind of another look here, uh, I'll zoom in. You can kind of see there's a little bit of that, that kind of bubble basically of borax right there. Um, that would either burn off, but when you pour this, um, sometimes that'll stick to the side of your crucible, um, but you won't have to worry too much about any leftover there. All right, so if you're wondering how do I get these impurities on my silver, typically it's just going to be from coming into contact with something dirty. In my case, it's almost always from using the top of the uh, sprue here and the silver that you can see from the overpour. I will cut these off and then reuse these for future pours, and that will just lead to some of those impurities on the top of the silver. But hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.